Hey Vogue, I'm Quinta Brunson and I'm getting ready for the Emmys. You wanna come get ready with me? Come on, come on in. The difference between the Emmys last year and this year is last year was my first everything. First time going to the Emmys, first time being nominated for an Emmy, first time going to an awards ceremony, period. I won't call it overwhelming, but it was whelming. And this year, there's a beauty in the relaxation of being like, okay, I'm here again, this is nice. It makes me think of those actors who just go every year and they're like, why do they look so bored? And it's like, cause they come here every year. <laughs> but it's a nice comfort. Our show is nominated, my cast is, are, they're nominated. So of course I'm rooting for them. If I were to win this year, I would not bring my phone up. It's, it's too distracting. No one has hit me up asking me to shout them out. My family and friends are very considerate. They would never say shout me out, but I can't help it. We are in glam right now. This is what happens before you go to an award show. You do this for about th two, two to four hours before you go to a show. Last year was our first Emmys and we're going to stay consistent. This is now her signature look. <laughs> she loves it. We've gotten so many compliments. She's been fighting me on it and now I have complied. He is lying. <laughs> I told him I like this look so much that I want it to be signature. I love the way it looks from every angle. He fought me on it. I look so good at hair that he wants to show off all the different kinds of hair he can do, which he can. But we're gonna land on a signature because I think it's important. This is called the number two combo Quinta special. <laughs> <laughs> we talked a little bit about about how Quinta wanted to feel. So I took some keywords from that, which was like effortless, timeless, classic. As Alex said, she's been here before. So she wanted to feel like I've been here before, mm -hmm. you know? So with the glam, we kind of went simple, just a classic wing liner that I feel like kind of packs its own power. Without changing my face completely. I just don't want to look totally different. And um, I think sometimes that can happen where Makeup can just, I don't know, make, a look, make us look totally different. But I really do like looking like myself. Yeah. Well, you're a beautiful girl, so. Thank you, girl. Yeah. I think I always look good in kind of the old Hollywood feel. Um, and I, I loved Eartha Kitt. I love Judith Jameson. I love Betty Boop. Like, I know that's a cartoon, but big eyes, big ass head. And I always felt very inspired by her. And then honestly, I was more inspired when we landed on this Dior dress. It just has that classic feel to me, but it's very modern at the same time, which is what I like to bring to the table. I think I like to bring that to the table through my art. I like to do stories when I dress people. So for this weekend, we chose something a little more old Hollywood. We chose a beautiful Christian Dior haute couture piece. What that means is it's an haute couture dress. It is one of one. So a client can actually buy this dress off the runway and nobody else can get it. More importantly is look at this fabric. It is supposed to be crinkled. That is the beauty of this dress. You know, some people, the haters are gonna say, oh my God, why didn't she steam? We've steamed. This is the beauty of the fabric as well as the draping. Draping, Madame Grey did it beautifully and Christian Dior does it beautifully. That is an art. The inside is absolutely beautiful. It is one, two, three corsets inside. It's the netting that actually makes the beauty of the dress. Quinta chose a beautiful Christian Louboutin shoe that we did get dyed. These are going to hurt at the end of the night, but they are quite beautiful. I feel great. I feel like everything we talked about. I feel classy and classy and second Emmys around. And um, I don't know, I feel like a little princess. When I first saw this dress, I didn't, I wasn't like immediately like, oh, that one. I saw the color and I was like, oh, that's a pretty color. Let's, let's see about that dress. And then we put it on and something just felt like all of the things I was describing. All right, guys, thank you so much for getting ready with me to go to the Emmys. Now we have to go to the Emmys. So bye Vogue, thanks for joining me. Ha <laughs> ha